and welcome back to this week's vlog and in today's vlog this is a video that has been requested from you guys so today's vlog what i am filming you guys would like to see what i take and wear and like what make clothes and stuff for danny clothes for danny then i suppose you would say to competitions so I take it that you guys want to see what make Danny wears and what I wear. But I'm going to start off with Danny's first and then at the end I will finish it off with what I wear and take to a competition. Also guys, I'm not sure what you are on about meaning competition wise so because i do a bit of everything competing like showing dressage and jumping some things are the same in what i take for dan and he wears and some are slightly different so i'm basically going to show you it all in discipline so i'm going to start off with the bridle so here is my competition bridle obviously there's no bit on it and um, this is a rhine gold bridle then now you might have seen this on what make my tack is so you might have seen it before but this is normally what i wear for competing so it has the anatomical headpiece i basically like danny to wear anatomical because it releases the pressure off of his pole and it means it's going to make it a lot more comfortable for him and obviously i want to make sure that danny is as comfortable as he can be this is not saying that you guys need to get a anatomical bridle it's completely up to you if I decided that I wanted to stop wearing an anatomical headpiece and just put a normal one on, that's completely fine. It's just my decision that I want to put him into an anatomical headpiece. So it has the nice blingy brow band, which is just so pretty and definitely catches the judges' eyes. Now, I wear this for show jumping and dressage, although I've got to admit, guys, I haven't worn it for a few competitions. That's basically to be honest with you guys is that i'm too lazy to change it um so i'm gonna show you the other bridal that i wear that i've been wearing for the last few competitions but i must start wearing this out for competing because it is very smart it is also in brown all of danny's tack is brown what i do love about this bridal is look at the nose band it is so padded and so soft i absolutely love this i've literally had it for quite a fair few years now and the reins i love as well i'm a person that likes thin reins so these reins are perfect and now guys i will show you the bridle that i have been competing in the last few months and that is this bridle so my bit is on this because i also use this bridle for lessons when i am jumping so this is a shires bridle which i got about two years ago now um and i put this blingy brow band on it just come with a plain brow band um but this is also a shires brow band as well and i just love the detailing of it it's got like little flowers and it's also gold and it does look super smart on um so this nose band used to have two straps which was kind of a bit like a flash but danny doesn't need to wear a flash so i basically cut them off because i just didn't like them and it was annoying me but i liked the bridle so i was able to cut them off so that's what i've done and then the reins come with them as well which again they are thin and yeah, this is what I have been competing in. I will do dressage or show jumping in this or cross country arena event in whatever competition really. And I also compete Danny in a Pelham for jumping because I don't know if you guys know, but Dan can get quite strong with me. And I find with jumping, because he runs at the jump sometimes, I find that I pull on his mouth and then me pulling on his mouth means he's pulling back on me and I'm just constantly just pulling him in the mouth which is obviously not very nice for him so by me having the pelham I'm not pulling on him he's not pulling on me and he goes so much better in it that I don't have to keep going like that with him so that is why I jump him in his pelham the next bridle that I use for competing, and this is the bridle I use for showing only, and 
I'm not actually sure what the make is guys so I do apologise but I love it. So as you can see on the nose band it's nice and thick and I don't know if you guys can pick it up on the camera but can you see the detailing there? Oh my god I absolutely love it. And then we have the plaited brow band but I know that this bridal is a proper hunter type bridal because that's the classes that I do with Danny. I do... um show hunter pony sorry guys i had to think then um but yeah this is just so so nice so i obviously use this for any showing shows i do or if i'm going to practice in in a double bridal so it means that the pelham that was on the shire's bridal i just take it off and put it onto this bridal and these are the reins for them which basically obviously match the brow band of the bridal and then he has the plain reins as well because I ride with double reins. So he doesn't have a double bit. He has double reins, if that makes sense. So I just have the normal plain level ones that go with them. And that is all the bridles I use for competing. Now I'm going to go on to breastplate. So I only have one breastplate, which I also do use for lessons and arena hires but this is my amazing ps of sweden breastplate which i got last summer and i just absolutely love it so it's i don't know i think it's like a three point breastplate but what i like about it is it's got the elasticated bit here so this just goes through your girth it's so easy to do up it does not take long at all you can adjust it with size here and it's nice and padded where it sits like near the wither and then here is my favorite part of all times it has the detailing i'm hoping it's going to pick it up on the side here which i just think it looks super smart for a competition like i said i do use it for lessons as well and then you have the martingale attachment here which is another thing i really like about it is it's a clip so it's really easy to click on and off um also you can take the martingale attachment off because obviously for dressage you are allowed to use a breastplate but you're not allowed to use a martingale attachment so it's up to you if you don't guys don't need a breastplate on your horse you don't need to wear it for dressage but if you like to wear a breastplate then you are allowed it as long as there's no martingale attached to it so i obviously just take this off for dressage and put him in the breastplate because a i think it just looks smart but also it fits to my saddle and it stops my saddle from moving um but yeah and also it has the clippy bit here which i attach to the girth so again it's one of my favorite things for jumping and cross country i wear it but i just attach the martingale attachment danny doesn't need the martingale attachment i have mentioned it in quite a few vlogs the reason why he wears the martingale is because i like it on him personally i think he looks smart in it it doesn't make a difference to him whether it's on or not the only reason why he wears this is because i like him in it so the only disciplines that is used for is literally dressage without the martingale attachment and show jumping arena eventing or cross country you are not allowed to wear a breastplate or anything like that for showing next i'm going on to numbness and i'm gonna start with we'll go dressage first so obviously for dressage you have got to wear white so i've got the white lemur dressage numna obviously i only use it for dressage um so yeah it's just lemur and it's also in the suede danny wears full and i also wear ears with it again that's optional if you don't want to wear ears you don't have to i just personally think it's smart and i like it and these are the ears i wear i wear black and it has the white um binding around it so it obviously matches the white numna and it also to spice it up a little bit has diamantes in between so it looks super smart and i haven't yet worn it in the summer with the sun but i reckon going down the center line people say you need to distract the judge by 
ears or something diamonty because they'll be looking at that thinking that's smart and if your center line is a bit dodgy they won't really be taking much notice because they'll be looking at the blinginess so if you imagine in the summer coming down the center line with the sun blinding the diamonties if i do a bit of a dodgy line hopefully they won't notice it and give me a better mark that's a little tip for you guys that's something that someone's told me it hasn't happened to me yet though so let's hope this summer i might get a better mark by then just by those diamonds um, but these are also the acoustic ears as well for show jumping i have completely changed it up on what i wear with danny and i yet haven't worn it show jumping because the last time i took danny show jumping was last april and i got it in the summer but i will definitely be using it this year um but for show jumping i used to wear any color numna um out of my lemur matchy set so i could be wearing pink any color basically with the matching ears but i have decided that i am no longer going to be wearing bright colors for show jumping i'm going to be going just for one color every time i go show jumping so in the summer, I got this for Dan and it is the Le Mer Le Wear Black Close Contact Numner. And I just think this is going to look so smart because in a minute, you guys will know why. But I think this would just look really smart on him. I'm also matching it with the Black Le Mer Ears. So I'm looking forward to getting out show jumping this year and putting this on Danny. I have one more numna to show you guys and this is what I wear for showing and it is the brown Lemur sheepskin which is in the shape of the saddle numna. So this is obviously what I wear for showing. It's super soft underneath. It has the sheepskin right where the saddle goes so it makes it extra comfy for him. And yeah, this is basically what you're meant to wear as long as it's brown basically. And they like it to be the shape of your saddle because if you have like a normal numna, it's just in the showing world, they like it to be short so that they can see your horse's movement and confirmation. I think I've said that right. So this is one he wears again, it's Le Mer. Next, I'm going to go on to are uh, the boots. So we're going to start with jumping and I wear the Le Mer Impact Responsive Gel Carbon Boots. Um, and they're just like the pop-on ones, so they're really easy and quick to do up. I know it is mixed opinions on wearing boots for horses. I know there's a lot of people out there that don't agree with them because it heats up the tendons. And then there's people out there that will always put their horses in boots no matter what discipline they are doing. And that is me. I personally like Dan to wear boots. And he does need to because as you can see here, again, I'm not sure if the camera is actually going to pick it up. But the whole of the inside, I don't think it does pick it up. It is just scratched all up here. So it proves that he does need it. Also, back in 2019, I went to camp and I was only doing a flat work lesson. And my instructor was like, why are you wearing boots on him? And I was like, he needs them. I only had brushing boots on and I was like, he needs them. And then at the end of the lesson, she come up to me and said, I now see why you need to wear brushing boots. Literally, if Danny has a brand new pair of boots, no matter what they are, brushing boots, tendon boots, anything, the first wear of them, when I take them off, they are all like scratched. So he definitely does need them. I only use these boots for show jumping. He also has the bags, but they are currently very, very dirty and I need to wash them. Now for cross country, Danny wears the actual cross country boots, which again are Le Mer, and they're the carbon mesh ones. So they're rock hard here and they've got the air vents for when you're going through the water and obviously with the sweaty legs as well, which is also what the tendon boots have got. They've got the vents at the back to stop your horse's tendons for overheating. And I also have the backs for these as well. And I use these not just for cross country on the grass, I use these for arena eventing, which is actually what I'm gonna be using these for on Sunday for our second competition. I also put Danny in overreach boots. So I just use the black, rubber the mer ones or i go for shires whichever really and that's for cross country and show jumping 
for showing, Danny is not allowed to wear boots. I would love to put him in brushing boots, but you're not allowed to. Um, that's the same for dressage. I know if you go dressage, you are allowed to put brushing boots on to warm up, warm up, and I suppose that would be the same for showing. But just before you go into your classes, you've got to take the boots off. But obviously, for jumping, you are allowed them in a competition. And I know if you do work in Hunter, you're allowed to wear boots to do the course of jumps. But then when you come out of your course after jumping, then you've got to take the boots off to go back in to do your show. And then Dan just wears his normal GP brown saddle that he wears for everything else. So guys, that's everything riding wise for Dan that I wear and what the make is for a competition. I'm not sure if this is what you guys wanted to see the next part, but I'm going to show you guys anyway, just in case. But I'm going to go on to the rugs now that Dan wears at competitions, um, which you guys will have seen because I also put him in it when I go to lessons and arena hires. So the rug that I use through the winter is Lemur again, which is the Four Seasons Fleece, which is in this massive bag. And I've got it in navy because Danny's travel colour are navy um so this is just the rug it's an attachable neck the neck is in this bag and it regulates to your horse's temperature i'm pretty sure so it warms them up and it will cool them down if they're too hot because the inside of the fleece all the way through it's the same for the neck is this like white wool it's like really soft i suppose it's a bit like a firmatex rug so it's really cool and it also looks really smart and it is super thick as well and like i said you can take the neck on and off and also on the bum where their tail strap is the binding is like really nice it's like proper show that i traveled down in which i got recently in the black Friday sale I think it was or the January sale I can't remember now but again I've showed you guys this this is the Lemur Four Season leg wraps which I basically use for travel boots so I do actually have the Lemur in navy travel boots and Dan would wear them and Dan's absolutely fine with wearing travel boots but he gets when I get them out to put them on him he starts like walking around the stable and just a bit not stressy i don't really know how to explain but i don't think he's particularly clean keen on them like he doesn't mind wearing them and he's not a problem once they're on um whereas i know some horses don't like the back boots like he's fine but when he sees them he just gets a bit unsettled in his stable but i wanted to make sure that he had some kind of protection on his legs when wherever i'm basically going whatever i'm doing i always put boots on him if it's like tendon boots brushing boots which he travels to wherever we're going with them on but then on the way home i take them off after whatever i've been doing because obviously they might be covered in sand they might be wet and it's not very nice for him to have them on on the way back so it means that he then travels back home with no protection on which i just don't like so with these again it's got the same inside lining as the rug as well so it will dry them which is just amazing and also they're tightly fitted so it's gonna protect his leg but also it's not gonna heat his tendons up too much because i know that's another thing that people don't agree with travel boots is they worried about the tendons overheating these basically it's exactly the same as the fleeces it matches it it regulates the temperature of the horse's legs which i think is very cool in the summer guys i unfortunately cannot show you these but he will wear a fleece it'll just be a thin normal fleece without a neck or if it's still too hot for him to wear a fleece i have a meshy rug it's in navy and it's just mesh so i can put that on him so if he's got sweaty which obviously the horses do in the summer after a fun, fun ride or whatever we're doing when i wash him down i just chuck it over it doesn't make him hot or anything it just dries him off from washing him down last but not least for dan i take an exercise sheet through the winter because obviously if it's raining it's not fun him getting soaking wet when he stood there but not only that obviously he's clipped and if it's cold again i don't want him to get cold so i have two different exercise sheets 
I have a waterproof one and then just a fleece one. So I will start with the waterproof one, which this is HKM and it's completely fleece lined, so it keep them warm and it's 100% waterproof. And I've just got it in black to match with my show gear. And obviously I'll take this for whatever competition I'm doing in the winter. Um, and then I have the fleece one here, which is Equifine, which I love this one because it's black, but where the saddle is around the back, it's got sheepskin, I don't know if you can see there. So basically, because my saddle's brown, it matches my saddle, so it will look super, super smart. So now I'm going to go on to me and while I've got it out, I'm going to quickly show it to you because obviously we need numbers. Some competitions where you go, you don't need to wear a number. If you don't have a printer like us, it is a total pain because you've got to ask somebody that does have a printer, which is obviously a pain for them, but also a pain for us. So I think this is an amazing idea. Um, so here it's the Lemur and it's basically um, like a white magnetic and the numbers are magnetic. So you can take them on and off change them obviously which i just think super cool so if this number's still in because i thought i needed a number for arena venting last month but it turns out i didn't and i haven't took the numbers out yet but obviously when you go and do cross country you do need a number so this is when i'm going to be mainly using it in the summer but i know if you go and do like teams and things like in the riding club or even with the pony club if you're in the pony club you do have to wear a number and nowadays they don't allow you to get a number on the day that you used to be able to go up there and then they would give you the number you've now got to sort it out yourself which is annoying if you don't have a printer like i said so now i don't have to worry about that so i think that's pretty cool that they do things like this but my favorite thing of all time which i think is what i wear for competing are my riding boots and if you guys watch my badminton vlog last year, you will know what I purchased. I purchased the De Niro's along riding boots. And unfortunately, I had to wait 10 weeks for them to come because they just sold like a few days before I went on the Saturday. It was like on the Friday. They just sold the boot that I wanted in my size, which was gutting. So I did have to wait 10 weeks to wait to get them. But I'm not bothered. It was well worth the wait. So, oh my God, I absolutely loved them. So I did actually film getting my legs measured for my boots, but they were a completely different style to what I ordered. They were the only ones that they had in the shop that was my size. So I just went for kind of, it's got design, but I went for the normal pattern. Obviously, if you guys know De Niro, you basically design your own boot and you can put as much detail as you like into it it's pretty cool it's a bit like build a bear um so i've gone for the snake skin at the top i don't think my camera's focusing but snake skin just all in black i had um to choose what color i could have had blue and i could have had it in gray but i just wanted it in black and then i put the three diamantes you don't have to have the three diamantes and then at the top which i think comes with all boots unless you decide that you don't want them is you have the shiny detailing all up around the top and at the back here with your popper it's all shiny i also went for a boot with a lace because i just like long riding boots with lace personally um and yeah i I just absolutely love them and it's so annoying because when they arrived I couldn't wear them because I wasn't going out competing or anything because I was doing showing but you're not allowed to wear these type of boots for showing you've got to wear just like plain ones with no detailing so I wasn't able to wear them so it wasn't until the dressage that I'd done back in November that I was actually allowed to wear these at a competition and then I wore them for the second time last month for my arena event and i'll obviously be wearing them um this weekend these are my favorite things to wear at a competition for for sure definitely i think they look super super smart and they're also so comfortable like oh they're just like cushions on your feet like i've had no problems with them wearing them in yeah best thing i bought
The next thing is my show jacket. So this jacket is a procure jacket and as you can see it's got the diamantes but they're in black so they're not like proper out there if you know what I mean. Um, and then they got the buttons and it's got a little diamante there and it also has a zip and it is in black and yeah this is again one of my other favourite things to wear. I also wear a back protector when show jumping. Again, this is your own choice if you want to wear a back protector for show jumping. I like to because I never know what Dan's going to be like on the day. And I just, it's kind of like a comfort blanket to me. I just like my back protector to be on. I always have done. Um, and it is the Champion Back Protector, obviously in black. Obviously, for cross country and arena eventing, you have to wear a back protector. You have no choice. If you don't have a back protector, you are not allowed to compete or even go on the course. But I don't wear a back protector for dressage or anything else. You will only see me in a back protector for jumping. The next thing is my hat. So I have the Sam Shield hat, which is obviously in black with the, I think they call it metallic or something like that. I've actually had this hat for a few years now and it is all in the guidelines for this year, guys. It has, this can come out to wash it and obviously I've got my Penny Club sticker, but I'm not in the Penny Club anymore anyway. But I wear this for show jumping and dressage. Obviously, you're not allowed to wear it for cross country with the peak. So I now go on to my white, which is Le Mer, And since 2020, you've had to have these kind of whips and it's had to be a certain length and certain whip. I only carry a whip for jumping, but I never actually use it. If I do use it, it's just a tap on the shoulder if there's like a filler or a plank or something like that. But I always do ride with it when jumping in lessons and competing. This is the hat I wear for cross country and just jumping lessons. It's the champion hat. And um, obviously I just change the hat silk depending on what cross country colour I am wearing. The gloves I wear are the Hurls ones. Now, I absolutely love these gloves. They are leather. They are in black. And I actually won these in the Life and the Love Left Rain Vlogmas vlog back in 2021 with a cross country stopwatch and a hat silk as well, which is pretty cool. And I use these for lessons or basically whatever, but also for competing. They're just so comfy and like your fingers do not get sweaty because they've got the air vents as well i highly recommend these gloves next is what i wear so i've got my white show shirt here which i wear for dressage and show jumping and it's got the diamantes which are well cool and this is a bull bus bus one i think it says something like that I also have a long sleeve top which is Aztec Diamond which I cannot wear in summer because it has the air vents and it's very very thin um so yeah this is Aztec Diamond again I can obviously wear this for dressage or show jumping and then I have my jumpers which again are Aztec Diamond and they've got the sock bit here and the air mesh which I love as well again I wear this for dressage show jumping arena eventing cross country this is the back of them. They've just got the Aztec Diamond logo there. I also have a stock which is for dressage. Obviously, I have my stock pin that I would wear as well. Next, I go on to what I wear showing. So I wear beige jumpers. These are shires and they are just the riding tights, but they have the belt loops and they also have a phone pocket as well, which obviously I don't have my phone when I'm in the ring. For my showing show shirt, this is a canary yellow one and this is my old one, it's just a vest one. But basically, you used to have to wear canary yellow jumpers, but for the classes I do, I wear beige jumpers for showing. So we wanted to get a cream show shirt instead of a canary yellow one. Um, and this is what we ended up with another canary yellow show shirt but what i like about this one is it's slightly longer and also look at the lace that's like really pretty but it was meant to be cream and this make is an equitech one 
for showing, ignore that part over there, that's the clothes I've showed you. For showing, you're obviously not allowed to wear a black show jacket, what I wear for dressage and show jumping. So you've got to have a tweed one. Um, and this is my matching tie. I've got it in navy with red and I've also got a red one because I'm not sure what colour to go with it, which will match it the best. And this jacket is a Equitec. Last but not least for showing, I need an AV show hat, which is basically velvet and it is a gatehouse one. Um, again, it's up to date with this year's standards. Glove wise, these are the toggy brown leather ones. These are the winter ones. They are fluffy and they are also waterproof. Obviously, through the summer, probably won't want to wear these. I do have another pair of brown ones and they are called... There's something called like Rochelle. They're just basically like these, but they're not fleece. I forgot to mention um, these boots, which are the brown chocolate, I think they're called, mountain horse ones. These used to be my best ones for show jumping and dressage, but now I have my De Niro's. I was going to sell them, but I decided to keep these for showing because I think they look smart with the whole brown theme, with the brown numna and everything like that. And you're also not allowed to wear De Niro's for showing. So these ones I just keep for showing. So guys, I think that's everything that I've showed you for what I wear. Um, and the same for Danny. I hope you guys have enjoyed this week's vlog and I hope it's a vlog that you guys all wanted and I've done it right. If you have liked it, please make sure that you like and subscribe if you haven't already because there's going to be a lot more content coming um, this summer. Fingers crossed. I've got a few vlogs already planned in mind. Also, I've had a lot of you guys request requests that will be coming your way shortly. So stay tuned if you do like watching me then share me onto your Instagram stories of you watching my vlogs and if you tag me into it I will be able to see it and I will share it onto my story and of course tag you guys as well and if you haven't already go and follow me on Instagram because I post on there quite regularly and I post on my stories every day and you get to see a lot more about Danny and I's life on Instagram and that is MD underscore equestrian underscore but for now I'll see you all next time bye